Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about lead code question number 973, K closest points to origin. So given an array of points where pi is equal to xi comma yi represents a point on the xy plane and an integer k, return the k closest points to the origin 0 comma 0. So suppose this is the xy plane, we are given two points which are marked here with circle. So 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3 is this, minus 2 comma 2 is this, which is which one of these? So k is equal to 1, so 1 point, 1 closest point, so minus 2 plus 2 is the closest point and we want to return that point. So basically we calculate the distance of each point from the origin um, and then do sorting on them and then return the closest point closest k points now the question is how do we maintain a sorted array of distance from origin of all the points so the answer is we maintain a priority queue data structure which basically uh, stores the distance of each point from origin and um, since the origin is 0 comma 0 um, we don't we just pass the points that we are given uh, in the array and then keep adding them to the priority queue and um, that way it keeps them in a sorted order uh, of distance bit from the origin which is 0 comma 0 um, and then we we, we we retrieve the k points out of that priority queue and at the same time while we are inserting into priority queue we make sure that the priority queue has only k points at any given point um, because we, we want only k, k points in our answer. That's why we don't have to store. So, um, so suppose there are 10,000 given points in the array. We don't have to have a priority queue to hold all 10,000 points. Whereas if the k is just five, we might just need five points which are closest to origin. So uh, uh, priority queue is nothing but a heap so if we maintain a um, max heap which will basically keep the point which is farthest from origin at the top and um, we keep inserting in the priority queue uh, or, or the heap and the top most the farthest point is at the top so if we know that the size of the priority queue is uh, is more than k uh, so we remove the top element because it's anyways farthest so we all always have that the closest points um, as this as the child nodes of the root of the heap um, so that's the logic uh, let's try to implement it so what we do is we maintain a priority queue integer array eq is equal to new priority q of type integer array and uh, here is the logic that goes behind so if we are given two points p1 and p2 p2 1 Z, p, p, each point has 0 and 1 uh, element in the array point is basically an array of uh, 0 and 1 index so p2 1 p2 of 1 square plus p2 of 0 into p2 of 0 square and uh, we do subtract p1 of 1 square p1 of 1 plus p1 of 0 square p1 of 0 so p1 yeah so this will give us the distance from origin not the origin but the, but the distance between two points but if we are adding only one point in the priority queue it will be uh, taken that the other point is the origin so what we do is 
uh, we run a for loop and we insert the points that we have been given we insert those points into the priority queue and uh, we also maintain the size of priority queue to be always um, k so if we see that the priority queue size has gone more than k then we say pq dot uh, pole remove elements okay and here what we do is we 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 maintain a result array uh, of size k and then uh, we say while k is greater than 0 the result um, minus minus k is equal to pq dot pole right and um, this way we get the result is the answer let's see if it concludes properly yes yeah that's also a problem i hope it was useful please like this video if you think it is useful to you comment below so the reach increases and uh, Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep making more videos. I hope it is useful. Thank you and best of luck for your interviews